Yeah. Or <clears throat> well, I mean, I, I appreciate you, you know, taking the time to to hang out. I know you you had a busy day studying. Yeah, it was an eight hour sit in study session. It wasn't sit in; it was over Zoom. Um, uh, so, yeah. So, um, I mean, we're, we're here obviously because huge San Diego Comic Con announcements. Um, yeah. But yeah, my my wife has to also study because she's um she's taking a big examination next weekend. So. I'm saying I'm taking mine on Thursday. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Nothing but stress. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you you and I actually talked, whatever it was, like Thursday last week about yep. Thor. And part of that was talking about, you know. The future of Marvel and, like, how it's going so far. Yeah, and also all the, all the complaints from Marvel fans about where is the MCU heading and blah, 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 and whatever. And there's no direction after phase, like with phase four. And it's like, today really brought all that into focus because even I hadn't fully thought about it. Like, you know, I, I, I had said some things that, that turned out to be accurate as far as Secret Wars and Thunderbolts and stuff like that. But uh, overall, like if you look at, uh, what we talked about, I, I had mentioned, like, you know, we didn't even see Thanos till the end of phase one, which was four years into the MCU and blah, blah, blah. But really, the culmination of that, where is this headed, was uh, right after Endgame, right? Like the Infinity Saga, right? Which is phases one, two, and three. Yeah. And phase four is just the beginning of the next cycle. So it makes sense now that they've announced phase five and part of phase six that the next three phases are where it's heading like yeah. it's not just phase four it's the culmination of so, all four or of all okay, three so next ones now let me let me pose a question to you like you know that's all planned out and everything like that okay so basically though you called you ba you called everything like i don't even i think it was like more than seven or eight months ago so did you just read something that confirmed it as like as like 100 percent obvious or did you just know where they were going based on like the pacing of the movies like what what things did you see in the movies to let you knew that you're like this was coming so like this whole Kang the conqueror and then secret wars is right there like and that's the the next two events like you know the last two avengers movies we got was infinity war and endgame and those are the next two we're gonna get so they got a lot to live up to right now like a lot right <laughs> so so for me it's like i don't like to just jump to conclusions really right. like without confirmation because i think it's really dangerous to get excited about something that may never happen and then you're just disappointed and you blame Marvel for it when it's really your fault. Um, but to me, it seemed like the next logical step. I mean, and people have been anticipating Secret Wars for a long time. Like, even when Endgame was happening, people thought that might be Secret Wars, um, yeah. which it wasn't. But when when you had the end of Loki and, like, the idea of the multiverse and all these things starting to pop up, it's like, well, when you get into the multiverse and then in even before that, when Disney bought Fox, I the first thing that came to my head is how do you integrate X-Men and Fantastic Four into this world without just introducing them later as like, how could they have not been established before, you know, in the MCU when like, like you can't just introduce them out of nowhere 10 years in and be like, oh, by the way, look at these incredibly powerful characters that, that have never been around, but all of a sudden are, right? Like, my thought was, well, the the way to do that, to introduce already established Fantastic Four and X-Men characters, is Secret Wars, to combine universes, right? Because that's essentially what Secret Wars does. Um, so that that was my first inkling, is like, how do you bring in X-Men and Fantastic Four in through yeah. Secret Wars? Uh, and I, so I naturally assume then that the last Doctor Strange movie basically confirmed everything you had been thinking. For right. When they, when they mentioned yeah. incursions, I was like, okay, it's, obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's confirmed. That was like a hundred percent confirmed for you or like not what you did. Yeah. Because, yeah. because you don't talk like, you don't hear talk of incursions, even in comics, unless you're building secret, like, unless it's secret wars. Like, uh, the, when I was reading the, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Hickman's run on new Avengers and they, they talked about incursions and then you have planets colliding. And the next thing you know, Hey, it's secret wars. <laughs> like, you know, and that's like kind of, you know, where my brain went like, okay, they're, they're definitely going in that direction. There's still a lot to be figured out because if you look at the slate, fantastic four comes out in 2024 and secret wars comes out in 2025. So, 
they're not necessarily using what I would initially think is that route to introduce those characters as established. We don't know what they're going to do and it could be anything and it could be terrible and it could be great. Who knows? Right. Like, yeah, that's the whole thing. Like when you have Marvel doing magic, time travel, uh, multiverse, whatever, like all these different facets, which is like you had asked me about last time. You're like, well, like, do you think they're just introducing all these little things to kind of milk, the whatever they can get to oblivion like to have all these different threads to build as many stories as possible right and like yeah that's kind of what i think um and and when you have all these different things when you have magic and you have the multiverse and you have all this different stuff like your possibilities are endless right we had time travel in endgame right like time travel could explain a lot and it will explain a lot because also the the avengers movie before secret wars is called the kang dynasty and Kang is nothing if not a time traveler, right? So, um, it, yeah, and and if and that might play in with Fantastic Four as well. Like it could be a time travel thing. So, yeah. Well, it's good. There's a lot of options. Um, you know, and I don't read any of the comics, so I don't know any of these characters. Uh, you said that, or ever from our last podcast, that uh, you think that the tra- uh, the guy from the end of Loki, the Traveler, what was his? no, not the Traveler. Yeah, the the what's his the name? Watch. Yeah, yeah, the He Who Remains. Uh, he Who Remains, exactly. And yeah. he was played by Jonathan Majors, who's also playing Kang the Conqueror. So, okay. you know, if you're familiar with that, or like have, or like are up on the news which not everybody is and not everybody should be like not everybody lives and breathes marvel which is okay like some people just love the movies and enjoy them and want to go see them um sure. but not everybody is like you know that's why like i can't i can't hold it against anybody like anybody who's like oh it feels like marvel has no direction with phase four and all this stuff is like they're not going to be looking at it like oh well the infinity saga was all three first phases and so the next saga should be the next three phase. nobody's nobody's really looking at it like that like when they're casual viewers but they still want something you know they still feel like something's missing because of endgame right yeah so you can't blame people for that um but essentially, Kevin Feige confirmed Phase Four is ending uh, with with Wakanda Forever, the next Black Panther movie. Um, if you're interested, if anybody's interested in that, the trailer is released, the one that they showed at Comic Con. Uh, it's out there on YouTube. You guys can watch it. Uh, Namor's in it. Um, it. We don't really see Black Panther at all, aside from like a guy. I mean, we see like an arm with like claws, and there's some gold on it. So maybe it's Killmonger. I don't know. Is that something that interests you? Like, would you like to see Michael B. Jordan take the mantle of Black Panther? I, I don't know. I want to see it in the movie and see how they do it. Um, he's not a bad actor, so. Yeah. You know, and it, it's just, I don't know. It kind of feels like they really killed that guy. It, it, it does. It does. But he's coming back. We know he's going to be in the movie. Yeah. So I, I, I just, I don't know. I have to watch the movie, and then I'll get back to you. Yeah. And then uh, the other part of Phase 4, the ending of it, is She-Hulk, the TV series. Yeah. Um, and the trailer came out, for, uh, a new trailer came out. The first trailer was pretty heavily criticized. We actually reacted to it live on stream. Yeah. Um, some of the CGI wasn't um, wasn't spectacular or anything. Uh, yep. but, uh, the new one looks, I think better. And, um, I mean, we're getting more, uh, I mean, we, we already knew that we were getting abomination in the show. Uh, we kind of knew the premise of it in the new trailer. We see Wong as well. Um, we Good see, Wong. <laughs> uh, we, we see something that might really anger people. I'm just going to say it. Mm-hmm. Um, because, um, I read something the other day on, on Twitter. Someone was like, oh, I really hope they don't ruin, uh, Daredevil and give him that ugly yellow and, and red suit, like his original comic book suit and make him make some stupid witty jokes. I hate to break it to you. He shows up at the end of the trailer in a yellow and red suit. So a witty joke. Maybe does he make a witty joke? No, he doesn't say anything. We don't even see his face. Um, we just see him like do a, do a cool ass flip 
and uh, land and then like see part of his suit. So, yeah. Well, I'm excited for the new Daredevil movie, that's for sure. One second. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if you're still here or not, but um, I am. Uh, it is not a movie. It's going to be a TV series. Um, well, Disney oh, Plus. And and I don't know if this is true, but what I what I saw, I, I didn't watch the panel, but I saw someone on Twitter that like kind of talks about the news. I don't know if they're a good source or not, but they said it was going to be 18 episodes. That sounds crazy for a Disney Plus show when most are eight or six. Uh, so. I don't know if that was just like a joke or something, but, um, yeah. And then phase five, right? Phase five kicks off with Ant-Man and the Wasp quantum mania. We know we got a new poster for that. There's Cassie Lang is there. Who's Scott Lang's daughter, Scott, mm. Cassie, uh, J J hope, hope Van Dyne is a hope. Is this Janet hope Janet's someone, the mom. Someone Van Dyne. Yeah. Uh, Wasp, uh, yeah, and then Kang is, uh, we see him in the background. Um, we also have Loki season two, mm-hmm. um, Guardians three, Blade, Echo, and uh, Daredevil Born Again, which is, uh, gonna the be s- spring 2024. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Oh, God, we gotta make it all the <clears> way <throat> through 2023 to get all the cool shit. Damn it. Yeah, Ant Man and the Wasp is is slated for February seventeenth, twenty twenty three. Uh, Secret Invasion on Disney Plus, the TV series. Apparently, there was a trailer that they showed at Comic Con, but it hasn't been released for the public yet. Um, that's spring twenty twenty three. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, May twenty twenty three. Echo, uh, the TV series, summer twenty twenty three, and it's confirmed that. Um, Vincent D'Onofrio will return as Kingpin, and Charlie Cox will be um, Daredevil in it. Um, uh, Then you have Loki Season 2 for Summer 2023. The Marvels movie, July 2023. Blade in November 2023. Uh, Ironheart, uh, Disney Plus series, uh, which is Fall 2023. For people unfamiliar, Ironheart is a teenage girl who goes to MIT, who looks up to Iron Man and takes on his mantle pretty much, but as Ironheart. And mm. some people hate it because uh, they hate representation and uh, hate whatever. Women, more importantly. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So uh, that's what that's about. Uh, Agatha, Coven of Chaos, Disney Plus show for winter 2023 slash 2024. Uh, that's the one I care the least about, to be honest. Um, Daredevil Born Again, Spring 2024, and then capping it off with Captain America, the new, well, not the, just Captain America New World Order, May 2024. This will be Captain America 4, Sam Wilson's first outing as Captain America in a movie. Um, is there any of those you're looking most forward to, least forward to, don't care about, can't wait for, anything? Our heart sounds interesting. Um, but you know me, I'm pretty, pretty jaded right now. So <laughs> I'm probably going to have to say Ironheart and then just all in on Daredevil, uh, the new series, whatever, yeah. hopefully it ties back into the movies and eventually you get to the old movies. Um, you know, even my parents watched Daredevil and they loved it. Yeah, I'm all in. And, and, uh, yesterday they talked about some animation stuff that they're doing. Uh, and this could be big. I don't know if it, if it will be necessarily, but the meaning of it could be big. So they they talked about um, they talked about uh, what if season two and they're doing season three as well, um, mm. and they talked about Spider Man freshman year, which is animated, and Marvel Zombies, which is animated, right? Mm. And the big rub for Marvel Zombies is it's going to be rated TVMA on Disney mm. Plus. Ooh, really? And Mar- wait, Marvel Zombies is called. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be a lot of gore and blood, and I think that's why it's gonna get that MA rating. Yeah. Um, well, well, again, you know, I I was of the opinion that um, Sam Raimi's, you know, in Multiverse of Madness probably should have been rated a little bit more mature, based on just some of the things that has that just happened to that, you know. Right, and so. 
do you think that when they do the Daredevil series, they'll try to go a more mature route with that? Or... Uh, what the fudge? Uh, or do you think that uh, they'll kind of tame it down from what it was on on Disney Plus? I don't know. Um... I mean, not Disney Plus, Netflix. Because even on Netflix, right, like, it wasn't crazy like yeah. it was bloody at at a, at a lot of moments and stuff like that but it was never crazy it was never like you know all this sex and stuff like there wasn't nudity like it, it wasn't insane like like even like the way that maybe punisher was bloody it wasn't even that well it was at mm-hmm. times but yeah I, I, no well i mean remember, i remember when wilson fisk you know smashed a man's head off with a car door um so oh yeah 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 the russian guy yeah yeah i remember that there was a there was some so there was some pretty gnarly stuff that happened um you're not wrong um but i i don't know i I think it does open the door and and also on top of that they um they added yesterday i believe both deadpools and uh, Logan to Disney Plus with their original ratings. Oh God, I hope. Right. I'm watch Logan cry again. <laughs> so if it feels like they're they're heading in a direction that like they're pretty comfortable like doing that, right? Uh, like going more to that way, and and noticeably there are some things missing from the slate, like from from both slates. Um, from, oops, from the phase five slate and the phase six kind of slate where we we don't see a Deadpool three and we don't see, uh, what? Uh, And we don't see uh, an X-Men movie. I mean, it's, yeah. it's very likely we're going to get introduced to X Men in different ways and well, in different I think, movies. You know, I think that waiting on X Men is actually kind of smart because it was so heavy earlier in the years. I think giving it a little bit of time to age and then you know pass from like you know recent memory and then bring it back in a big way, uh, like what they did with Charles Xavier. It was just kind of a little like you know sampling what's to come. Right. I I, I think that they will find like new and exciting ways to to do things um but we can only hope right we can only hope that that they do those things correctly and yeah, these movies like said aren't mid most importantly yeah uh so f- at least from uh the 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 slates the slates magates the phase four i mean I am excited for Guardians Three. Like, I think there's going to be a lot of things that help expand the universe in that, including uh, Adam Warlock. Um, the Marvels could be crazy with all those different characters. Um, Daredevil for sure, Captain America as well. But yeah, Agatha don't really care about to be honest. Um, oh, and there's also confirmation. Uh, yeah, this says Daredevil: Born Again is 18 episodes long. That's so crazy. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, do, 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 Thunderbolts. Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited for Thunderbolts. That's the last one, I believe, of phase five. Uh, you know, it, it's for sure going to have Baron Zemo showing up in it. Um, we also, um, let me see, got confirmation of Modoc. Do you know, do you know who Modoc is? Uh, yeah, I do. Modoc will be in, uh, ant-man and the wasp quantum mania oh man i wonder how he's gonna look who knows to be honest uh, i think they did show footage uh, at at comic-con but it, again it hasn't been released to the public um so uh, bill murray is also gonna star in that movie maybe he's gonna be modok i don't know that's <laughs> news um <laughs> uh, oh jeez we're going to see the high evolutionary in guardians three, as well as Cosmo, the dog and, uh, Maria Bakalova is, uh, voicing the dog. I'm guessing. 
I, I mean, unless she's doing motion capture for the dog, I don't know. It's also confirmed we're going to see a baby rocket raccoon in Guardians 3 because we need baby everything. They announced that Groot show too. Was this all? Is it all Little Groot, or is it just? They announced oh, the Groot show. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's yeah. Uh, it's all shorts, like five yeah. shorts. Uh, and Fantastic Four is going to kick off Phase Six, which is pretty sick. Uh, I believe they're going to do the, They're going to announce the cast for Fantastic Four at. So okay, here's another question for you. Sorry mm-hmm. to interrupt. Do you think that this Fantastic Four movie is going to be set in the what universe that Doctor Strange went to, or do you think it's going to be set in our Marvel Cinematic Universe? To be this honest, timeline. I have no idea. I don't. I don't think it'll be uh, eight three eight, the one that Doctor Strange went to, where Mister Fantastic got turned into like popsicle sticks yeah. or whatever. Got um, shredded and then his brain popped just like a balloon. Yeah, I don't think it'll take place in that universe. Uh, it should take place in the MCU, like. I can't imagine they'd release movies that didn't primarily take place in their own universe uh, and then expand into other universes. But but it'll be interesting to see. Like I said, maybe it's a time travel thing. Maybe it takes place like, you know, Captain Marvel did was in the 90s. Maybe this takes place in the early 2000s in a different in a different universe. Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. And maybe it explains like how they did with Captain Marvel, where they've been all this time. Or something, you know, you, you never know. Uh, and like I like I was saying, like I, I do think they'll release the cast at D twenty three, which is Disney's own uh, thing, little thing, yeah. uh, next month. Um, do do do, and then after that, we have announced um, <laughs> Avengers: The Kang Dynasty. Yeah, Kang the Conqueror, his dynasty. Yeah. Um, I, honestly, that sounds pretty cool to me. I mean, we we knew. I mean, we didn't all know. Uh, I think it's it's pretty. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say this. Like, I it was anticipated by uh quite a few people that um. What? Uh, oh. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just multitasking a little bit, Same. just like you. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Um, yeah, I, I think a lot of people anticipated Kang would be like your next Thanos level villain. I mean, I, I've, I've right. had An Avengers level threat. <laughs> yeah, I've had friends who, who have uh, said ridiculous things like, "Where's Galactus and stuff," um, but I do think like. Because of well, with the... the introduction of Fantastic Four, I think they might go that route again. Because I do appreciate some Galactus. Like, you know, again, once again, I don't really know much about Marvel because I don't read the comics, but I do know Galactus just from asking knowledge, as would probably many people, you know? Right. Well, and, and on top of that, um, um, so anyway, uh, sorry. Kang will be May May fifth, twenty twenty five. But on top of that, then the next announcement is November eighth, the same year, twenty twenty five. We have Avengers Secret Wars, mm. and uh, well, let's be honest. Uh, you don't need this character to do Secret Wars, but it might be difficult uh, to work around it if you don't. I mean, there's two characters. One, Doctor Doom. Yeah. Right. I, I think Doctor Doom is a pretty important character, uh, and most likely he'll be introduced in um, Fantastic Four. I mean, I, I can't imagine why they wouldn't, other than he's been done a bunch of times and they might opt for the Mole Man route or something. But who knows? Um, and the other one's the Beyonder, um, who's like this crazy level, power level character who kind of like exists outside of time and space um and Mm. in the most recent secret wars comic book series dr doom i mean sees the destruction of everything happening as worlds collide and goes to the beyonder and says i can save everyone if you loan me some of your power and the beyonder is like whatever dude here you go and uh, he creates battle world and becomes a god and uh takes sue storm as his wife and all of Mr. Fantastic's children as his children. Uh, and eventually Mr. Fantastic being the genius he is figures it all out and, you know, undo- undoes it and whatever. Like, um, but yeah. 
um, who knows? Who knows? But at the they've capped this off by saying from phase four to phase six, this is now known as the multiverse saga. Yeah. Right. So phase one to three was the Infinity Saga. Now we have the multiverse saga. It's pretty Damn, crazy. We're going back. We're going back. Yeah. Uh. So so you should uh you should share some of your thoughts on that. I'm gonna mute real quick. Okay. Um, so my thoughts on this. Emoji the statement. That's really cool. Um, uh, that's really cool. Uh, you don't have it on ADP? There is probably going to be some cool sequences. There's going to be some good music. There's probably going to be some great acting. There's probably going to be some comedic jokes. There are going to be some jokes that are really, really funny. Uh, there are going to be some jokes that are fucking off. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> We don't know who's writing. <clears throat> or at least I don't know who's writing. But I hope they, the person who is writing knows how to knows comedic timing, and all that good stuff. Um, more importantly, this is just cool because, like, I don't know, the multi. I, I am personally, as many as our viewers, if you've been a long time, one of the millions of billions of fans of the Nerd Ledger, yeah, would know that I hate time travel. Like, holy shit. It is literally one of the worst plot devices. Like you can change everything. You can literally go back and undo everything. Like there, there are technically no consequences in like a time travel scenario. It's just, it's really stupid. It's really, really fucking dumb. Interesting. <laughs> so wait, so instead of instead of traveling to the past, you're traveling to different universes. So I'm okay with this. You and I on here have never really talked about um, Endgame. Did you did you hate Endgame? Uh, let's just say I, yeah, you know, I think we did talk about it. I think I said the exact same thing uh, I'm going to say right now. I think that time, time travel is a lazy, poorly contrived plot device when writers write themselves into a corner and then don't know how to write themselves out of it. So, oh, we're going to sub down into the sub molecular realm and we can go through time with these BIM particles, but there's only enough BIM particles for a few trips. Like it's just no. All right, that was just. Uh, all right. And then they hop over to like 1964. Like, oh, we're gonna get some pin particles from here. <laughs> hey man. That's, and then you know... Captain America could go back to the past. And then technically, if he was in the past and then lived all the way up to the point where he could give the Falcon the shield, he could have just stopped all the bad shit from happening in the first place, and he didn't do it. All right, all right. Whoa, man, chill out. So, it's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat some of these fucking sour patch kids. I'm really fucking mad now. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Well, well. Ultimately, uh, what what I want to say is that, that was the news. Um, but I, I'm pretty excited. I mean, I didn't expect to get full slates. Like I, I, I had said previously because even um, Marvel had said like, you know, we're not we're not really doing our big announcements at Comic Con this year or whatever. Like. And then they said they're doing Hall H, so you figure, okay, it'll be some, like, animated stuff or smaller or whatever. Like, they'll do something, but, like, it won't be as big. But, no, they went full steam ahead, released their full slates and, and all that stuff. And, like, it, it's actually really exciting. Uh, I mean, a lot of it we knew was coming. Uh, I mean, the surprises, I think, for maybe the majority or the general public is, like, the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, like, more Avengers movies. Um I think those are those are the biggest surprises. Mostly everything else we kind of expected. The Daredevil series is is a bit of a surprise uh, and, a, and a welcome one at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we kind of knew about Blade. Uh, we knew Fantastic Four had to be coming. Uh, we don't know necessarily. I'm excited for Blade too. That's something I'm to bring up. I think Blade's cool as hell. So. Yeah, I think there were some blank dates on the on the slate for Phase Six. One of those is potentially or probably an x-men movie there was some rumors that the x-men movie would be called the mutants and some people were very upset about that for some reason mm -hmm. um but yeah and yesterday uh there was a bunch of announcements there was like uh the x-men 97 cartoon um there's a new look for magneto apparently he's going to be leading the x-men um, yeah. there was a really clickbaity article i saw uh titled uh gargoyles return in a new series uh and i was like yo i love the gargoyles and then it's just a comic book series by dynamite so thank you very much um well, at least you get that like, you know 
Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that's something. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm just, I, I just think, you know, it's a great time to be a nerd, uh, as always. I think yeah, this... Specifically a comic book nerd. <laughs> I think this will really, like, uh, for all the people, like, saying, you know, where's the direction, where's this going, all this stuff, like, hopefully it subdues some of that, or it may not, because I, I think another one of the complaints, like, what we were talking about is, like, not necessarily the lack of direction of Phase 4, and more so the quality of Phase 4, um, because... I think we can all agree like a lot of it has been pretty mid like pretty pretty middle of the road nothing like crazy mind-blowing extraordinary and nothing yeah. like awful terrible nobody should watch this garbage but at, at the same time it's like when you have your standards set so high because of films like infinity war and endgame it's hard for people to come back and just be okay with more origin stories and stuff like that right yeah. Um, I think, I think like even amongst those, like when you had, you had Infinity War and Endgame and you also had like Black Panther around the same time and Black Panther was also like kind of next level for, for what it was. Like, it wasn't just like, wow, this is a great origin story, comic book movie, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it, it felt like one of the few Marvel films that went above and beyond being a comic book movie. Like the themes and everything else within like transcended that like it's a movie for everyone not just comic book fans or or mcu fans or nerd fans like i can't tell you the number of people i saw go to that movie who i don't think has ever seen a marvel movie before mm. right and you don't see that right like you, usually you go to these theaters and like it always feels like an event you have all these people you have some people dressed up like like bloody fucking spider-man and shit like you have all yep. this stuff when you go to these things and it feels like an event and it, you feel like you're surrounded by people who, have, who are just as invested as you and who love all this stuff. And when I went to see Black Panther, it wasn't like that, but the crowd that was there, the people that were there were like super hyped, were super excited. And most of them you wouldn't look at and say, oh, you know, like I feel like this is someone who's been watching Marvel since the beginning. It's like they were like when people say representation matters, if you didn't see that movie on opening night, you probably don't understand exactly what that means. But it does. Even when we, you know, even when we saw Endgame and Infinity Wars in theaters, like an Endgame when everyone started coming out of the portals after, you know, they did the unsnap. Fucking yeah. everybody, went, everybody went wild. Like, it was, everybody the theater went crazy. Like, I know that you fucking hate that shit, but, you know, it's it well, going, people, people were really, really hyped up about it. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, and sign. you have to expect it, especially with movies like that. Uh, yeah. it, it just, it's not as annoying to me when people are like clapping for those huge moments. It's really annoying to me when people are laughing hysterically at like a mediocre joke and won't stop and are like the loudest person in the theater. Cause it feels like they're saying, look at me. I am the biggest fan here. I love this. And if you guys aren't as loud as me, you must be suckers and hate this shit. And it's like, dude, we're all here for the same thing. Yeah. It's funny, but like, you don't have to laugh so loud. My ears hurt. Like, I can't hear the movie now because of you. It's not like everybody that's laughing as that loud. It's just you, right? Like, with, with, when, when The Force Awakens came out, I knew it was going to be, like, loud-ass people clapping at every minute of the movie. It's so crazy to me that I left that movie and got, got texts from people and, like, talked to people that said, this just feels like a retread of a new hope and blah, blah, blah. And it's not that good because everybody in the movie, the theater I was in was like anytime an X-Wing showed on screen, they're clapping. Anytime anything happened, they're clapping. Like people were losing their minds in that theater. So I don't know <clears throat> anyway, but yeah, um, representation does matter. I it does bringing us all together you know that's what they were doing like miss marvel i watched all miss marvel i think we'll need another full episode just to talk about miss marvel we but we will yeah you said it's campy uh um, really so it's so fucking campy dude it's i so didn't campy. i didn't get the campy to be honest i'm picking up campy non-stop burns burns my burns my angry person soul okay? i thought it was cute okay <laughs> i thought kamala's dad was one of the best characters we got in in in, in marvel okay at least as far as dads you know there's pretty some pretty shitty marvel dads out there okay yeah and he's pretty great but um yeah i mean he did you did you uh did you roll your eyes at the mutant mutation reveal 
I think I need to make sure I watched all the episodes, um, but I think I know what's coming. Like, you know, there's a lot of people that are just hidden and superpowers come out of nowhere and like, oh, you can do it. And like everybody, like regular people get their moment to shine by teaming up and using the power of friendship. You know, <laughs> the power of friendship. Yeah. I didn't get that at all. That's when she's like, she gets beat up, and everyone's like, "Go on, Kamala, you are the special." And she's like, "Oh, that's right, I am." And then she uses her magic powers, and then the the music is all peppy and happy, and she becomes a superhero she always wanted to be. You know? Uh, yep. Yeah. Wait did yeah. did you did you watch the post credit scene? Uh, probably not. Oh, okay. Well, I need to go back and check that out. Okay, so there. One thing about um, Thor. Mm-hmm. There was I saw was Hercules. Was there another credit scene after that, or no? Uh, there, there was. What was it? Just twelve for Man of Uh, so we see Jane arrive in Valhalla, and um, oh. he- Heimdall greets her and says, "Welcome to Valhalla." And people are like, "Well, we, we might see her again," and I, I really hope we don't. To be honest, I think this was a perfect ending for 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 Jane, uh, Fos- for, for Jane Foster. Yeah, for uh, for Jane Fonda and um, Jane Fondu. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm I'll be perfectly happy to to have this like this should be the end. You know, like it, it works. I I don't want a movie taking place in Valhalla. I don't think we need that. I don't think it will serve any purpose whatsoever. Um, and what are they gonna do? Just just have Heimdall, Jane, and and freaking odin hanging out or something and like thrand uh Than- Than- thandrel and and all the other warriors three that nobody actually cares about anymore like what like, Arc and science and stuff and what's the point what who's gonna be the antagonist Are, is someone gonna try to infiltrate valhalla like I, I don't know you know or is this gonna be like uh when when in charmed in season five when they go to valhalla yeah. i don't know if you ever watched charmed but uh wait charm no i have no idea what that is the the og charmed you don't know charmed Mm-mm. the 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 with the witches it had Alyssa milano in it you know no i, I man i really don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> well charmed is pretty good for, yeah for the, yeah <laughs> i'll take your word for it <laughs> not the new one the new one is so bad i tried to watch it it's really bad yeah. So which one? So are both of them really bad, or is like? No, no. The original one was actually good. Yeah, but watch but the new one is bad. Yeah. yeah. Um. But all right. I mean, I, there's not much else to say about this. Um. I just wanted to talk about it and and tell people, yay, Get exciting. Excited. Um, yep, yep, yep. And and as things start happening, as these movies start coming out, and we learn more about where the MCU is headed, then we can talk more in depth and and specifically about what we think the future movies might be about it's hard to talk about now because as we know these are adaptations they're going to be their own stories and they might you know lend a lot of things from the comic books but they're not going to be exact so you know just like what civil war was like it was overall overall a similar uh similar story beats or like whatever like uh, essentially like you know heroes have to register like that was the comic book and that's the movie like that's the connection but all the details are different right and so yeah. that you never know like because a lot of people said you couldn't do civil war without spider-man but you very clearly could like the movie did not need spider-man whatsoever i think it benefited from him being in it or made it more enjoyable but he wasn't any part of the story that that mattered yeah. right he was just cool to see um yeah. But in the comic book, like he's a he's a major part of that story, mm. and I remember when the movie was announced, people were saying you can't do it without him, you can't do it without him, and I said, yes, you can. Like it, we know Black Panther is going to be in it, he could easily be the substitute for Spider Man, and as it was, they went with a different story altogether. We didn't need Spider Man unmasking and going public and whatever and having the fallout from that. Like a, as comic book fans, like that's what everybody wanted to see, but what we got was still fine. So, yeah. uh, it, it'll, yeah, as things start to develop, we can talk more about those movies and we'll be back, you know, of course, to talk about Miss Marvel and, and anything else that yeah. happens at Comic-Con. Uh, I have a question I want to ask you. Yeah. So, uh, unless, did you have to go? No, 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 I don't think so. So in, um, and in Endgame, mm-hmm. we lost Iron Man and Captain America, essentially. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is going to get the boot in Secret Wars and, and, um, the legacy of 
Kang or whatever. Um, well, it's hard to say. Like, if they're try- if if they're, I mean, you have to kind of balance the real world implications of signing these mega superstars for multi movie deals, in mm. addition to uh, like where your story can go with them. I think we're going to see a lot of characters fall off between now and Secret Wars, including some of the Guardians, uh, because Guardians 3 is going to be the final Guardians movie, as we know. And so I think you'll lose some of those characters there. I think you'll lose Thor uh, before before Secret Wars. Um, Wanda, potentially. Is he the last OG Avenger? Uh, Hawkeye, I mean, is still technically around. Yeah, he may. F- I I think he. I think him retiring is fine. Like him just falling off and retiring. You know, like I don't think they need to kill him. Uh, yeah. Who Who else was an OG? A Hulk. The Hulk is still. You know, That's right. Mark Ruffalo is still Mark Ruffalo, and you know, still doing his thing. Uh, if he survives that long, he could potentially fall off there. Uh, you know, and obviously, a lot of these characters they're building up replacements for. Right, Sam Wilson was a replacement. Um, uh, Kate Bishop for Hawkeye, Yelena Belova for for Black Widow, um, She Hulk for Hulk. Um, who else? Do do do. That's four. I mean, I don't know if Ironheart will be the replacement for Iron Man or uh, War Machine. We know he's gonna show up again somewhere, um, and he'll probably fall off either at or before Secret Wars. Uh, potentially Scott Lang, right? Cassie can yep. replace him. Um, I mean, unfortunately, like, without without any choice from anybody, you know, Chadwick Boseman is, is unfortunately gone. Uh, yep. Who knows if the Black Panther character will continue on, but it, it will be someone different, obviously, if, if it does. Uh, or it'll be Killmonger being Black Panther is my guess, or uh, Shiri becoming White Tiger, carrying on the legacy uh, kind of thing. Mm. Um, and White Tiger is, is like that's her the official confirmed whatever. Uh, it's not confirmed, but like in comics, like she becomes you know the White Tiger. Yeah, um, or it could be. Um, we could see, you know, we're, we're going to get Adam Warlock in Guardians 3, but he could potentially meet his demise in, in Secret Wars. Mm. Um, it's it's hard to say. I, I think, like, the direction that they're going, I mean, you have to introduce certain characters and um, build up other characters, and it's going to be hard to maintain all of this. So things are going to have to fall off at, at a certain point. Um, and if if Sony allows it, you know, like, one of the big, big, big hitters is going to be Norman Osborn. Mm. So we'll have to see like what, what continued arrangements Disney and Sony have. Uh, but yeah, uh, you never know. You never know. Anybody could, could, could meet their demise. Uh, but, but I think some characters will sooner than others. I mean, it's, it's crazy to me that Chris Hemsworth is still here. Um, and even him and Taika said it was surprising that at the end of the credits, you see Thor will return. Yeah. Like, they were surprised by that. And I think a lot of people were. Like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, what? Like, you know, I thought, like, you know, we were, like, you know, this is the fourth Thor movie. We haven't had a fourth, you know, movie for any of the originals. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of kind of where things go and what happens. But. I think you can easily tie in like characters like Valkyrie into other things. You don't need Thor really anymore. Uh, but it's hard because there's always going to be Thor, right? There's like, he's immortal, so it's hard. It's really hard to know like what to do with him. Is, is there anyone yeah. you want to see uh, get killed? <laughs> I don't know. I think it'd be cool to get rid of the original Avengers and then you know move on to new, hopefully new stories and see how it goes. But right. Yeah, I, Thor's uh, Hulk's very difficult to kill. <laughs> I know that from like everything I read. Well, even uh, even him, like they could build. I mean, She Hulk is really his replacement, right? Like he yeah. could he could retire or, or whatever in in the world, or he could uh like they do all, like a lot in comics, like find a way to nullify him, or he he's a scientist, he might try to find a way to uh get rid of the Hulk altogether and just live as Bruce Banner. 
right and show up every now and then as like a consultant or something you know yeah like you're never gonna i i don't think there's like a permanent thing like a permanent direction with the hulk um but yeah that, but i really wanted to see planet hulk the movie yeah i i don't know i i don't know if we'll get hulk movies just because of some of the distribution rights issues oh um, why who, who's he mixed up with columbia pictures uh, who <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> exactly uh, but yeah, yeah i think i think uh one of your favorites is is probably potentially one of the next on the chopping blocks is dr strange yeah right well that's uh, i'm one of those people where i'm glad like you know if it's i'm like a lot of people complain when a really good anime is only 21 episodes instead of like you know 800 but i'm actually for the opposite where if it's a really really good anime i appreciate it when it's like you know only you, 21 episodes. You appreciate the the lack of 23 spo- like uh, filler episodes or whatever. Yeah, the amount of like effort and work and blah 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 blah, blah you have to put into it, you know. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um. Yeah. Very exciting. You know, future of, of Marvel and everything else. And uh, yeah, I don't have anything else. Same. <laughs> Well, internet, thank you. Follow, like, subscribe. Uh, well, you can't subscribe here because I'm not a partner, but you can follow. Uh, and, yeah. You know, whatever. And you can Master subs- follow. Yeah, you can subscribe to, like, the podcast version of this if you're listening to that. Um, that'd be cool. You can leave a rating and a review. That helps other people, like, find us and uh, makes the algorithm do things, I think. I'm, I don't know, really. But, uh, yeah, do things. Okay. Much love. Yeah. Bye-bye, internet. <laughs>